safe, he has to get something there. It, the big thing there too is if you watch your mini map. The What's up, YouTube? D Bailey here, and I just want to give you a reminder that CWL Sydney is tomorrow. ESL Australia tweeted out the stage is looking fire for CWL Sydney tomorrow. Uh, we've got you covered on MLG.TV, COD from 10 a.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time, which is today during the U.S. today is Thursday, and it's about 7 o'clock tonight, 6.30, 7 o'clock tonight. Uh, had a real good turnout the last couple months doing this. Uh, it seems like a lot of people have problems with the MLG website. And I'm able to, to, uh, to host it, show it to y'all. And I thank you for all the support. Uh, be sure to drop a like and share. And hopefully it all goes well. We'll see y'all about 7 p.m. tonight for CWL Sydney. I'll leave a link below to their website so you can check out all the teams participating. In Group A, we have Tainted Minds, Prodigy Esports, and Unveil Nova. Group B is Mind Freak, Team Infamous, and Node. Group C is Chiefs, ESC, Rampage Gaming, and Validate Red. Group D is Validate Black, Garlic Bread, and Rebellious. And each one of them have an open bracket from Pool Play. So some more information will be coming in shortly. I believe they're all getting up now over there, something like that. That's a long way away. I'm on the east coast. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, let me know in the comments below. Follow me on Twitter at dbailey1116. I'll leave some links below to the esports gaming in Australia. Check out my previous videos. We'll see y'all tonight. Left mid hauler been shot a little bit off. Now going to be a one v one. Let's get over to Joe. It's him versus Clayser trying to chase him to the bottom right. Clayser dead to right. Surely not able to turn and burn. Joe gets it five and one, two kills in a row, and a defused add to his name. Five and one now and. Uh oh, uh oh, and this is, he's saying, hello. He forgot something, went to go pick it back up off the ground. That's all it was. Yeah, and now he'll go ahead, defuse this bomb, put his team at even a larger advantage now, four uh, to one. <laughs> I would love to get some some bad blood, some. Oh, we need these rivalries, man. Yeah, e versus NA is good enough, but exactly, now. Exactly, that's what getting, I need. This is getting juicy, man. This is like a well-cooked steak. When was the last time you had a well-cooked steak? Look at the size of me, Clint. Probably a couple days ago. You strike me as a guy that goes to a fancy restaurant and orders chicken fingers. <laughs> that's you. That's you that you're talking about. That is. That's, uh, <laughs> we head now into round six <laughs> with FaZe. They've tried some aggressive plays, and half the time it's worked, half the time it hasn't. Orbit, though, they have been a again. unit through this whole map. Here we go again. And they're ready. Look, look, FaZe, so FaZe are now adapting. This was the same strategy as earlier. FaZe took a little bit longer to rotate, and Clay got caught by himself. This time around, though, they have bodies on the site, and a beautiful flechette grenade stops the first plant, stops the second plant. Nicely done by FaZe, the exact round that they needed. They're up 4-1 now in the number advantage. That was beautiful. I mean, that's exactly what you needed to do. Yes. And that's, I mean, that's, that's adapting at its finest, right? You saw Absolutely. how it went, you get the timing in your head, you know when you have to rotate over. It was so quick, and both those nades ended up picking kills on bomb planters, right? Both right around the site. Yep. And I will say, FaZe, it's great that they've done that, but the two rounds they've won, if you think about it, have been complete 4-0 number sweeps. Yeah. And it's because that they've had two really good counters to the play that they were experiencing from Orbit. The issue is, is they're now still down by two rounds in the series, and they've got to figure out what they can now do on the offensive side to bring them back within one. All right, well, now it looks to so be... So they're going to go back with what worked the first time they won, they won a round. And let's see how the defense works. Remember how they tried to surround them last time from orbit, yep. get in from all sides? This time they're playing a little bit more passive in the back. You can see they have like a kind of a backline defense. See, and Are they baiting someone from phase to push out? Look at how worried Enable is. Like, we're, Enable is so worried to plant the phase. They're just deciding we've got to do something else before we can get this objective down. Three versus three. A quick trade on in. Attached for a second look at the same area as his teammate. And now orbit, you see their blue arrows maneuvering around the map, and FaZe will do the same. They do not feel comfortable anymore. They spent too much time at this site, and I actually agree with this play. So they end up going to wrap it out. Now let's take a look. All three members from each side pretty much sticking together here. Let's see if they try to get the bomb down. Let's go over to Enable. Yeah, so he is going to work on getting it planted, and now you'll quickly see the collapse develop on the minimap as they're going to begin to work their way over. Let's go over to Urban. He's going to be the first to likely engage here as he's trying to find an angle. He has not been spotted yet, I don't believe. There he is. He's got spotted. It's going to be down, down to zero with Joe. Make it zero alone. He's got a chance to clutch here in a 1v2. He does have FTL jump to work with as well. Spots one. Can't win the gunfight. Might get pressured here. He's got to, if he could just find one, he gets pushed and dropped. Phase battling back in. Enable was the hero of that round. On the site by himself. I can hear him through my headset. Gets that first kill. Goes, there's a guy wall run. The guy wall run turns and immediately beams onto the second guy. Even gets the third here in the kill cam as well. Beautiful round from Enable as FaZe are now back within one, keeping this one close. Let's see how close Enable is towards getting some streaks. He's seven and four. He's 150 off of that Trinity rocket. 
He's also got camo to work with. So Enable may be the one to have a big round here to bring things back. And also, if he's able to get some streaks, that'd be huge. So again, Orbit immediately pushing towards the one area of the map and phase. They're ready for it, but what do Orbit do to adapt this time? What do they change up? Because last time they got slaughtered on the site. And this time around, they're going to say, you know what? Let's challenge the back rock. That's how they change it up. You saw everybody from FaZe cooking their grenades, and Orbit knew that they could bake those out. That was perfect. That was Beautifully perfect. done. The objective now planted, and there is no longer any tacticals to work with on the side of FaZe. Even two players had to have been caught with their pants down there. They did. Nades exactly in happened. hand, trying to nade the site. They just flew at them. That was beautifully done. But can Attach and Zuma go big? One of them has to find a kill to open it up and tie it up. There it is. Two versus two now. Both players left up for phase. The pressure incoming, 25 seconds left. It's not going to be 1v2 for Attach. Can he find one? He knows he's getting flanked. There he's able to make it a 1v1. 19 seconds to work with. Attach knows he's behind the box. Going to challenge. Goes up high. Wins oh it with the my melee. Oh, God. Momentum swing of a round right there by Attach. Three kills to his name. We'll see the dramatic moments again in the final kill cam. A name.